Hey, what's up, everyone? Whether you're a first-time viewer or a long-time online student, I'm glad you're here. My name is Jamin Collar, and today we're going to be doing major and minor triads. These are really the basis of every song, whether you're recording your own covers or you're just trying to play your own songs at home. Uh, kind of at the base of every song, there is uh, these chords, these triads that you need to know how to build in order to play. So that's what we're working on today. There's gonna be just basically two parts. We're gonna do the major triads first, and then we're gonna do the minor triads. Um, and then you'll be able to play pretty much every important chord for every pop or rock song that exists. So let's get started. Major triads can be figured out two different ways. Uh, the first one is probably the best way to do it, and that is by scale, which means that you need to know your major scales. If you don't know them, then uh, click on my video link for the major and minor scales and uh, figure out your major and minor scales. That's the best way to do it. I'll show you that. Then there's the quick and dirty way, which is just to measure the distance between each of the notes and play it. So here we go. First, with the uh, major scales, We'll take, for example, the C major scale. There are all the notes for the C major scale. If you just pull out the one, the three, and the five, then uh, that's your major triad for that uh, chord. So if we're doing a C major triad, we're just gonna pull out the one, and then this is the two, we're gonna pull out the three, and then this is the four, and then we're gonna pull out the five. So you can see this is the one, the three, the five, because we count one, two, three, four, five. There you go. There's your C major chord or your C major triad. Uh, this is called a triad just because there are three notes to it. Um, there are other chords that have like more extensions is what they're called to them. that are like bigger and longer, you know. So anyway, the chords can get more complicated, but the basic ones are called triads. That's the C major triad. So that's based on the major scale. Now the quick and dirty way. All we're going to do is we're going to take that root, that first note, and we're going to go up one, two, three, four half steps or four notes. And then we're going to go up three, one, two, three. There you go. That also works to find any triad. So we're going to take our root one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four on the bottom, three on the top or two whole steps on the bottom and a step and a half on the top. This same method works no matter what chord you're playing. So let's try a couple more complicated ones. Uh, first, we'll start with this one right here. This is an F. And we're going to do that interval thing where we're just going to go up one, two, three, four half steps. And then we're going to go up one, two, three half steps. There's your F major triad, your F chord. We'll try one more that's a little bit more complicated. Uh, we'll start on a black note here. This one right here is A flat. We're gonna go up one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna go up three. One, two, three. There you go. That's your A flat major triad. This works for any of the other notes as well. All right, we're already halfway through the lesson. So all we've got left is the minor triads. There's three ways to find the minor triads. Uh, we can do it by scale just like before with the major triads. We can do it by interval, just like with the major triads. But this time we can actually use the major triads to find our minor triads as well. So first we'll do the scale one. And so if you know your minor scales, again, you're just gonna pull out the one, three, and five. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. There you go, there's your minor triad, the C minor triad. We can do it by interval, which is the exact same as the major one, except that they're flip-flopped. So on the major triads, we had four half steps on the bottom, one, two, three, four, and we had three on the top, one, two, three. So we had four on the bottom and three on the top. Now we're just gonna switch it. We're gonna have three on the bottom and four on the top for your minor triads. So here we go, here's your root. We're gonna go up three, one, two, three. And then for the top part, one, two, three, Four. That's a C minor triad. So it's just like the major, except it's swapped. Now, what you might notice is this is almost the exact same thing as the major triad, only that middle note has been lowered. This was the C major triad. That's the C minor. That's how you're going to use your major triads to find your minor triads. So you uh, let's take this one that we did already, the F. If that's your major triad, all you're going to do is take that middle note down a half step. That's your minor. Major, 
minor, major, minor. Same thing for that uh, A flat that we did before. We went uh, root for the major triad. We went one, two, three, four, and then we went one, two, three. That was the major, and this is the minor. So uh, there's three ways that you can do it, either uh, by scale, by interval, or by finding your major triads and then just lowering that middle note. That's it. You've got your major triads, you've got your minor triads, and uh, so now all you got to do is put them in order and play them through. I've got a couple tips for you real quick before we end. Uh, if you're going to play, for example, if your pattern is uh, C major, then D minor, then F major, then C major. Nothing special about that pattern, but let's say those were going to be your chords. All you got to do is take this bottom note here and put it down here in the left hand, and sometimes they'll even play two of them. So play like a C there and a C there, and play that right there, and that'll help uh, boost it a little bit, boost the power of the chord. And it's also really popular to do in popular music right now. So you're gonna play that. And then to add a little bit of rhythm, uh, you can just kind of alternate these notes here. A really common one is just to play the top two and then the bottom one. So something like this. Other variations include uh, playing like this pattern. Or pretty much anything else that you make up because uh, the options are pretty much limitless when we're talking about making up these patterns for these chords. Uh, there's plenty of other videos here that show you what to do once you've got these chords all charted out because that's pretty much all we're going to be doing here on the piano is figuring out chords and finding new and creative ways to play them and play the melody along with it. So that's it. You've got your major triads, you've got your minor triads, and I'm sure you're going to come up with other great ideas of uh, how to use these. So my goal is to help you reach your goals. So send me your requests, send me your suggestions at requests at milestonesmusic.net. Thanks. Have a great day.